In a world full of corrupt politics, mystery, betrayal, unspeakable horror, and emotional trauma, the enemy is coming to shatter all hope of a future and challenge everything that we hold near and dear. Is this the end of Westeros as we know it? Find out on the final season of Game of Thrones. <laughs> They're like, oh shit. Oh, it's a race now, huh? All right, rev your engines, let's go. Oh, this is so cool, I love this. Hold on! Oh shit! Oh my god. This is amazing. <laughs> Shit, dude, this is so cool. Oh, man. Oh, the cave. Are they going to find their own cave? Oh, God. <sighs> John, 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 John. You know nothing, John Snow. Growl softly. <laughs> Dragons are like, hey! Wait, 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 wait. I don't like that look. Which one are you? Leave him be. A trio I never thought I'd see together. Best I helped you. <laughs> she a goddamn savage. Oh, give him a hug. <laughs> All right, respect. I mean, you look. <laughs> there you go. Spit some game. Oh, just wait till he's blacksmithing with his shirt off, Arya. You will be amazed. Call her Ari. Oh, <laughs> they'd be an adorable couple. <laughs> you don't know any other rich girls. All right, sassy. House Clover will stand behind House Stark as we have for a thousand years. Isn't that what he said? I will yeah. stand behind Jon Snow, he said, the king in the north. All right. I told you we needed allies. You didn't tell me you were going to abandon. I brought two armies home with me, two dragons. And a Targaryen queen. Do you think we can beat the army of the dead without her? I fought them, Sansa. Twice. You want to worry about who holds what title? I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. Without her, we don't stand a chance. Yeah. I mean, he's right. She needs to. Any faith in me at all? You know I do. Then act like it. She's not her father. Are, Are you, you sure, sure about, about that? that? Oh, Sansa knows. Did you bend the knee to save the North? Or because you love her? Both? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold up. I, I thought Bran was about to come in the room and be like, So, John, you know Daenerys? <laughs> I need to have a talk. Is that Sam? Mm. Oh. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're the man. A great service merits a great reward. Oh. It's my honor to serve you, your grace. I've always wanted to well, be a wizard. Must be something I could give you. I borrowed a few books from the Citadel. <laughs> also a sword. From the sister? From the family. The father had me. Yeah, you know the the two guys you killed? That was his dad. You know him? She killed him. I offered to let him retain his lands and titles if he bent the knee. And he didn't. He refused. Oh, Sam! Sam, your dad was a dick to you. You don't need him. No! Oh, Sam! Your father stood with your father. 
Oh, Zam. Oh my god, dude. God damn. Such a good choice after all, was it? Oh, he's not gonna be on John's side now. <laughs> Fuck. Now's the time. Oh shit. It's kinda fitting that he's down here, isn't it? It's like, oh dad. <laughs> Sam just comes up. Well, not really. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did Sam just fall? Yeah. Be down here. Oh, that's another reunion I needed, man. Oh, he's got to tell him about his parents. Her, his dad. Is she alright? She executed my father and brother. They were prisoners. She didn't tell you. That's gonna put a rift. I bent the knee. I'm not king in the north anymore. I'm not talking about the king in the north. I'm talking about the king of the bloody seven kingdoms. Oh, Sam, I thought you were going to lay it on him a little easier than that. God damn. Bran and I worked it out. I had a high septus diary. Bran had whatever Bran has. What are you talking about? Oh, boy. Your mother was Lyanna Stark. And your father was Rhaegar Targaryen. E in the bastard. Yikes. You are Egon Targaryen, true heir to the Iron Throne. I'm sorry. Well, shit. I hope it's not to don't you, don't you hurt him. He's the most honorable man I ever met. You said he lied to me all my life. He promised your mother he'd always protect you. And he did. Robert would have murdered you if he knew. You're the true king. Egon Targaryen, sixth of his name, protector of the realm, all of him. You're goddamn right he is. How are you gonna break the news to Danny? <laughs> Daenerys is our queen. She shouldn't be. Oh boy. It's the truth. You gave up your crown to save your people. But she did the same. Oh shit. Oh shit, is that Tormund and uh, Ed? Yeah, it is. So dark. Oh, Tormund's always like, damn. Everyone's fucking dead. How the hell did you guys, like, get past them? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like the dark. I never did. Turn on that light sword, man. We need it. Damn. Dude, Torment's sword is pretty fucking dope. I like it. It's got like a perfect sword shape. It's like a mix of like a sword and a pirate sword. Not like an on guard kind of sword. You, you know what I mean. What are they gonna find? Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit! I've always had blue eyes! <laughs> Hell yeah. Did you find anyone? Dope trio. Oh shit, everyone's dead. I'm assuming they are anyway. <gasps> the younger boy. No. We get there before the dead. We just have to hold Oh, the he turned. <laughs> That is horrifying. Is that a... Is that a hint that there's gonna be ice spiders? I don't know if I can handle ice spiders, man. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I said it at the beginning of the episode. I didn't think he was gonna make it back. Who's this? Oh, holy shit, is that Jamie? Holy fuck. I didn't think he was gonna make it here this episode. Oh my god. He better talk to someone this episode. Bran first. Oh, that's what he said when he said he was waiting for an old friend. <laughs> Just staring him down. I remember, bitch. Yeah. Hello, old friend. Please, something like that. That's it? Oh no! Oh, come on! Oh man. Ugh. Oh. Wow. When I was a kid, I 
I was a child, my brother would tell me a bedtime story about the man who murdered our father. About all the things we would do to that man. Oh, shit. He never should have trusted Cersei. You never should have either. Death. Oh, Jesus. You saw many faces. I look forward to seeing this one. Oh, damn. Before the sun comes up tomorrow. Oh, shit. Wait. So, I will watch the inside the episode after this. All right. So, interesting episode. I'm not going to lie. They did more than I thought they were going to do, for sure. They did a lot more than I thought they were going to do. I assumed one of the castles, whether it was... The Umbers of the Karstarks, one of them was going to fall. I felt like he probably would have been the younger one, so John Umber, and he did. Even though we didn't necessarily see it, I don't know if we needed to. I liked the eerie feel that we got from it. By no means was I expecting to get John riding a dragon, John having all of his reunions, and like all basically all of the reunions happened this episode. And we got teased with the Jamie reunion as well. Wow. Now, was this best episode of the series? By no means, but I think it was the perfect premiere for the final season. Absolutely. It didn't have too much, but it had enough to keep me engaged the whole time and very into what was going on and trying to keep up with everything. I was worried that they were going to have way too much in King's Landing, and they didn't, and that's good. Wow, wow, wow. That was really good. That was really good. From what I heard, episode three is supposed to be the biggest battle in cinematic history. It's supposed to be, I think, like 80-something minutes, and it took about 55 consecutive nights of shooting. So it's supposed to it's supposed to put the Battle of the Bastards to shame, and I thought that was an amazing battle. If it can outshine Battle of the Bastards and Lord of the Rings, it's going to be insane. But as of right now, other than the skepticism with Daenerys and Sansa. And oh, also, Jon's true lineage this episode? Totally did not think we were going to get that. I didn't think we were going to get that until like episode 2, 3, maybe even 4. Like it could have been like a tragic thing. Like one of them di one of them dies and then they find out Athwar or something crazy. I didn't even think about the whole Randall and Dick and Tarly thing with Sam and Danny and the Jorah situation. I'm glad they're addressing that because like looking back on the season, if I like obviously it's been a little while since I watched it. I've been binging people that are doing catch up reactions for it though. So I've been watching the episodes and obviously not every single scene, but I wasn't really thinking about that kind of stuff going into the season. I was more so just trying to think of different ways it could play out and end rather than the small details like Daenerys would want to thank the person that cured Jorah. I didn't think about that, but that's definitely something that if I looked at the season as a whole at the end, I'd be like, huh, that's weird that that never happened, but I'm glad that it did. It didn't take too long, and it was a uh, two birds, one stone kind of thing. We had that, but we also, and like it was a little bit of comedy, like, ah, ha, ha, like I stole some books and a sword from my family, and I know, I know, you know, blah, 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 Tarly, and she's like, oh, fuck, like, oh, that was, that was really well done. Really well done. Yeah, overall, though, there weren't a ton of deaths. We didn't see the Night King. We didn't see the Night King. We didn't see his army, but we saw the damage he can do. And I am, I am almost convinced that the way that they had a little Umber, a little John Umber up there, that that's going to be like an ice spider thing. Because if you remember, way back when old man was talking to Bran, it was like talking about ice spiders, and, and it was like that really disturbing angle on him, like ice spider. And I always remember that. I was like, I don't want to think about ice spiders. We had a nice polar bear last season. I don't want ice spiders. Uh, we didn't get any... Uh, we didn't get any ghost. I was a little bummed about that. I don't like that all the Stark children... I don't like that there's a lot of deception or... Uh, I'm trying to think of the word for it. Pe that people are leaving things out of conversations or just... Like, they're not necessarily... I feel like people are lying by omission. Like, Danny with the whole Randall and Dick and Tarly thing. Obviously, she might not have known that Sam was one of John's really good friends, but still, it... I don't know. I like that John, or John, that Sam kind of, I don't want to say stood up to him there, but he really was, he was firm with him, which I liked, because not, not a ton of people, well, I mean, a decent amount of people have been, but 
usually you haven't seen Sam be that way with him, and I liked that he was. I felt like that was that was a good progression for him, and I like that he wasn't completely devastated about his father. Obviously, it's his father that, regardless of what he's done, he's always going to care about him because he's his father, but his father was a complete asshole to him and Gilly. And so it's obvious that he wouldn't be that broken up about it. He was more broken up about his brother, which is understandable. But damn, I, I'm not sure where next episode's going to go. But I really hope that we don't get some super long arc or issue with Danny and Jamie and Sansa because that's just, that's just going to bug me. I don't, I don't want that. I mean, I get that they need to have someone be like, oh, I'm not sure if I trust her because she's foreign. Like, I get that, but it's been done so much in the show. Like, I just, I don't want them, like, I, I get having it. Don't have it be a primary focus. Like, there needs to be some other stuff going on besides that. All right. What else? What else? I don't have too much else for now. Um, if people want me to do... I don't know if this discussion is the right word, but I guess, I guess if people want me to talk further about the episode and things I like thinking about, looking forward to, if just people want other Game of Thrones videos in general, let me know. Um, like I said, I do have season seven reactions, and if anyone is interested in me posting those, I will try to do so. It is probably going to have to wait, on, if I'm being realistic, it's probably going to have to wait until after I graduate, which is like the first or second week of May. So it'll be after season eight finishes, and I know that's kind of dumb and would seem kind of weird, but it's what's got to happen, unfortunately. I'll probably have this little after part, depending on how many parts I do and how long they are. I will probably have this be a separate thing, even though I don't think this is going too long. It's, pro it's going long enough that I'm going to probably want to include it in there. But yeah, I know that HBO is super strict about everything when it comes to copyright so i gotta be real careful about that because if i get this like blocked super easily like last time it's really gonna deter me from doing reactions for it and i really don't want that to happen so i'm gonna try to get the full uncut reaction up on patreon as soon as i can um it's gonna take a little bit to upload to my google drive obviously but uh aside from that um, I think I'm going to get started on editing and some other stuff. Let me know what you thought about the episode. Do you feel it was a good premiere? Did you feel it kind of, you know, set the set the tone and set gave some stepping stones for the final season? Do you were you were you a little underwhelmed? Did you think it was phenomenal, like one of the best episodes of the series? Let me know what you thought about it down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to subscribe? Feel free to do so. We recently hit 1,300 subscribers. That's insane. Absolutely insane. I wish I would have started doing reactions for Game of Thrones when I started it back like sophomore year here. That seems like a really good show. I'm going to check that out. And so I binged like five seasons of it in like a month, if that, before um, like before season six started. And then I watched six live and seven live. I kind of wish I would have started binging before so I could have like experienced all this stuff with you guys live. It would have been amazing. Let me just thought about the episode down below. If you want to leave a prediction, no spoilers. But if you want to leave predictions or expectations for the rest of the season, more than welcome to do so in the uh, comments down below. And make sure to let me know if you want to see those season seven reactions or not, because they it is going to take a decent amount of work because I got to cut them up a lot more than I've had to do with Walking Dead reactions, which sucks, but it is what it is. As always, this has been Jack from... Group of Gamers Inc. And I'm out. Peace. Bye. I thought they're all like two weeks now. They're like, oh shit, we're all gonna die. <laughs> oh. Arya's She's like, running for White Walkers. The coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Was that the Golden Company? John, you better hop your ass off that horse right now and go oh say hi God. to all of your Star siblings. Reunion we've all been right now. For. Oh. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Shit. Oh, but he doesn't know the brand is like dead inside. Oh shit. Oh. Hell yeah, you did. Let's go. She ain't easy, you're on. Ooh. I have been seriously for a very long time, but goddamn, that was a fire-ass fucking line.